This is an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. It's time to remember someone who we recently lost. Actress Charlotte Ray, best known for her role as Mrs. Garrett on the TV show Different Strokes and The Facts of Life, passed away last week at the age of 92. It was only three years ago, back in 2015, that she released her memoir entitled The Facts of My Life, which is published by Bear Manor Media. That's when I had the chance to talk to this very funny, very talented lady about her life and career. Hi, Peter. How are you? Ah, just tickety-boo. Thank you very much for doing this. (laughs) Yeah, thank you. So you've now come up with your, your memoir, uh, it's been a little while since the television shows The Facts of Life and Different Strokes have been on. What made you decide to write this memoir now? Well, it was my son who decided. I mean, he, he said to me when I was 87 and a half, he said, Ma, it's time you wrote your memoir. And he's a writer. And I said, well, I never thought of it because I, I'm not a writer. And uh, But you're a writer, are you up for it? And he said, yeah, I think it it would be a good thing. And so we did it, and um, together. And and as we were writing it, I thought, well, instead of saying, and then I, and then I, and then I, and and then I was this, and I did this, and this was so marvelous, and all that stuff, I would just let it all hang out, my life. Let it all be out there like everybody else's life. Some of it is sweet and some of it is very, very difficult. And and so there it is, my life. You've written this, as you say, with your son, right? That that, that would be Larry, Larry Strauss? Yeah, Larry, Larry Strauss, as in Johann Strauss. And um, he's a writer. He's written wonderful books. And he's also a teacher in uh, a... Uh, a school in South Central Los Angeles, and he works with um, uh, mostly African American and Latino students, and encourages them to to move on and uh, educate themselves and get into college, and tries to help those who uh, could apply themselves into getting scholarships and raising funds for their uh, books and you know lodgings and all that stuff. You know, he's a he, he likes his work. Yes, he does. And he's a good writer and a, and a good teacher. And he's the athletic director at the school, too. What's, so. it like, what's it like writing a book like this, which basically tells your life story, with your own son? I mean, that, that must be, a, 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 in addition to just the fact that you're writing a book with your son, must be a bonding experience with the two of you. It was. It was, indeed. And there were a few moments that uh, came to light where I made amends to him, you know, for, for, for things that I could have been a little more attentive to him because I was involved with my divorce and involved with my other child and who uh, was um, um, challenged. Uh, and so, yeah, and yeah, it it, it was a, a very rich, powerful experience. You had to place your child in an institution, correct? That was something that happened at the long end of a long road of trying to do something that I thought would be better for him. But we did find a wonderful place in California. It no longer exists, but it was Camarillo, and they had a wonderful, wonderful unit for those uh, uh, developmentally disabled. And they, uh, and there was a wonderful parent group involved, and we, we would take them out and do things with them. And Easter was a big deal, and Christmas, and the fat, the fat, fat parents were involved, and. My husband and I were involved, and Larry, and um, and then they uh, sold it to um, and put a college there instead, and that was kind of sad because it was a, a wonderful place, and uh, but it was wonderful when he had it. It was wonderful. As as an actress, you have spent a lot of time working on on various series with children. 
it, was that a, a a constant reminder to you as an as a not only as an actress but as a mom of of, of what had gone on in your own life uh, working with kids all the time? Well, um, the the first one was uh, Sesame Street. I was Molly the male lady on Sesame Street with Oscar the Grouch and the Big Bird. And um, the kids were so adorable and beautiful. And uh, and it was very difficult for me uh, because I they were so uh, precocious and uh, delightful and normal and uh, seemingly happy. And, and it was hard because I was with a child who had deep challenges and uh, and then then the facts of life and uh, the different strokes. Oh, I loved being with them. I really did. And um, it wasn't, that wasn't painful. That was not painful. By that time, we were kind of in a good situation with Andy in California with the uh, wonderful Camarillo. It was wonderful, the Camarillo State Hospital. Um, Charlie Parker was there for his uh, for his um, drug thing. He wrote a song about Camarillo. Uh, I don't know if it's called Flying in Camarillo. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, in, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, that's true. I was with a lot of children. Not. I did a lot of other sitcoms, but. Uh, that's true. There were three of them. Mm-hmm. You, um, you you were also working in a time much different to today, and by that I mean now we have uh, Twitter and Facebook and the tabloids, and people can't seem to have a private life and do the kinds of things that the average people could do, the average person can do, without it being under the microscope of somebody online. With all that's gone on in your life, and you talk about it in, in your book, you talk about your son, uh, you talk about uh, discovering that uh, your husband of 25 years was gay, uh, you discuss all this in your book, uh, yet at the time that all this was going on, the general population had no idea, right? None. Nobody had any idea. No. No, I don't. No. No, well, I mean, I was never anyone who went in for all the... Um, PR that um, some people do, you know. I led, I led a very quiet life. I was busy with the kids and with the work, you know. You also, I mean, again, we know you from television, but but uh, you had a career that uh, that goes back to to Broadway as well. Uh, oh yeah. You you mm-hmm. worked the boards. Was that something that? Um, because whenever I talk to actors, especially film and television actors, they always go on about how much they enjoyed working the stage. Are, are you in that category as well? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it, 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 there's nothing like the theater. Nothing, nothing like it. <laughs> wow. You know, I was the original Mammy Yoakum and Little Abner on Broadway. And... Uh, I don't want to talk about all the wonderful things that I was able to do. I'm so grateful for it. But I, I, I had a, a, a long, long, wonderful uh, life. And did, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be do some. I'm going to be doing something uh, in the spring at the Kirk Douglas Theater in uh, L.A. Uh, it's um, it's a Samuel Beckett play called End the Game. And uh, it, and I did a, 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 a well. I've done Shakespeare in the Park, you know, with um, oh Stacy Keach and Sam Waterston and um, oh I forget his name. Anyway, um, you know, uh, you know Romeo and Juliet. I was the nurse and Mistress Quickly and Henry IV, Part One, Part Two, and and then there was a Samuel Beckett play, a beautiful play called Happy Days. Not like the serious happy days, but um, a woman who's stuck in a mound, and from the waist up, she's uh, okay. And then in the second act, the mound is up to her neck, and it's Samuel Beckett, and it's 
it's a challenge, and I I loved it. She was a wonderful, noble soul, and I don't know. I've I've done so many wonderful roles, and I'm so grateful. I, but I love television. I love film. I love it all. I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. And and one of the things, I mean, even though you, you, you've done everything, again, you're so well known for the characters you've played on television. Uh, and they were such fun, loving characters. I get the I get the feeling that when you meet fans on the street, all they want to do is hug you. Do you want to know something funny? Um, about a year and a half ago, when I was in New York, we took the subway down to see a play my friend and I, and and we took the subway back up, and this tall, nice-looking uh, young man, he obviously grew up with uh, the facts of life, and Mrs. Garrett, and he went, ah! And he was in the subway station going in, and I was going out, and, he went, and I went, <laughs> and we hugged, and that was it, and then he went down the stairs to the subway, and I went out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I wish I could give you a hug now, um, Charlotte. Uh, the the book is called "The Facts of My Life." Uh, it tells so much about your life, both on the stage, on television, and your personal life, and some of the people you've worked with over the years, and even went to school with, like Paul Lynn, Patricia Neal, and Cloris Leachman. Uh, it's it's chocked full of information. Um, I thank you very very much for taking the time to be on the program with us, Charlotte. Well, you're a lovely interviewer, and if I ever get to Montreal, I'll give you a jingle. (laughs) Okay? Okay. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was a conversation from November of 2015 with actress Charlotte Ray. She was just an adorable woman inside and out. She was on the show talking about her memoir, The Facts of My Life, published by Bear Manor Media. Charlotte passed away last week at the age of 92. As I mentioned, her book is chocked fill with stories about her life and career. You can go to my website at thestufffile.com, go to the What's On page for this program, which is show number 0469, and you'll find links to either amazon.com or amazon.ca where you can order her book directly. You've just heard an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. To hear any or all of the full hour-long shows, visit the Stuff stufffile.com stuff is spelled s t u p h that's the stufffile.com a presentation of flying fish communications